everybody. I just wanted to kind of check in. It's been five days since the end of my first detox. See, look, it caught me after church and I don't look like a total slug this time. Um, but that's because I'm just now getting in my sauna and I'm not a sweaty mess and all this will just be gone and it'll be a disaster. Um, just kind of took a few days off. Uh, I'm still doing an hour a day of the sauna. It just helps with my pain kind of relaxes my entire body from the, you know, full day of just doing things. Um, I am titrating down for my niacin. So when I quit the protocol, I was about 5,000 milligrams, give or take. Um, so now I am titrating down by about 500 a day. So I was at 2,000 milligrams today. Um, I've been having migraines the last few days, so I'm not sure what that's about. I actually need to talk to Dan about that, see what, um, if it's just like, I don't want to say withdrawal, but withdrawing from the night, the niacin, so I don't, I don't know. I need to talk to him about that. Um, what's going on in life? We are starting a garden, which I'll start recording that sort of stuff, um, in between, you know, doing the protocol and all that. Um, my husband was very sweet, built me two garden boxes so far. We're probably gonna end up with like nine of them in a greenhouse and we have baby chickens coming this week. Um, I did a lot of research on, they're called Isa Browns. Uh, they, each hen lays up to like 300 eggs a year. So one hen could feed my family all year. Um, I got 15 of them because the hatchery that I ordered them from, it was a minimum of 15. So whichever ones, um, make it, so we're going to keep eight and then give the rest to my parents, whichever ones, um, survive. So hopefully they all survive, but, uh, so they have those coming in this week and I'll try to record those and, um, trying to finish some house projects still. So yeah, I mean trying to kind of just go about life as best we can. Um, other than the migraine, my sacral pain's been a beast the last few days. Not sure what that's about, but um, yeah, just keep praying, keep trying to do what I can. Um, just trying to live each day that I can. Um, the best that I can, and that's all I can do is just pray for God's guidance, direction, that I'm doing the right thing. I've been trying to dig into my Bible study a lot more, and making that a healthy habit for my mind, you know, because um, for a very long time I've just let the devil play with me, and all he does is bring despair, and that's not of God. So, um, you know, just trying to keep myself busy as best as I can. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of check in and, um, probably when we get the garden beds, like kind of filled in, I don't know, I might actually start recording that process more. Um, but yeah, and definitely when the baby chicks come, so Anyway, you guys, I will catch up with you later. I hope you're all having a blessed Sunday. I was blessed to be able to go to church full service today and be with my children. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, I'm thankful God has let me live today with them. I am not promised tomorrow, but I got to live today with them. And that's a beautiful thing. And that was a gift of God. And um, I just hope he uses me again tomorrow and that I get to be a witness tomorrow. So I'm um, just, yeah. So in, in other news, I'm trying to potty train my two toddlers. My son is three, my daughter is two. They're a year and two days apart. And my youngest is catching on rather quickly because she wants to be like her big sister. My son, He struggle busting real bad. So, if you guys have any tips for boys, please.
please let me know because I we want to send him to preschool this fall but he has to be fully potty trained before he can go to preschool so there's that but anyway if you have any tips for that leave them in the comments please help because I don't know what to do so anyway I will catch up with you guys later have a good rest of your Sunday have a blessed week don't let the devil get you down he's just out to destroy you you know what every time he comes at you just turn around and say I know somebody who's bigger than you. You've already lost. You're not going to win here. So, I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. He loved you while he was on the cross dying for you. And he'll love you tomorrow. Alright. I love you guys very much. Catch up with you later. Bye-bye.